Good morning, all. Good morning. I'm Ru. And I'm G. And together we're London Munch. We just sat down for our first breakfast in the Riyadh. And. We've got an amazing spread going yeah, on. Yeah, it looks really right good. Now. And we've got some coffee. We've got some fresh orange juice. Yeah, so. This is so zesty. It's waking my ass up. Mm, that's what I needed. That's good. <laughs> And we got these traditional flatbreads here. As well as baguette breads. And yeah, got breads, jams and butter, butter. Got tea, everything. Yeah. This bread's amazing. I love it. I need to find out what it's called because it's so delicious. Just yeah, it's so Moorish. Bit of butter. Butter. I said butter. And honey. It's so delicious. Mm. And it's good coffee too. This is our Riyadh by the way. If you haven't seen our arriving to Marrakesh video, check that out for a tour of the Riyadh. Video in the description below. Delicious breakfast it was. Now we're out and about in another beautiful day in Marrakesh. I'm not so sure if you can hear me because it's really loud right now. <laughs> we're literally passing the main road. Loads of cars. It's 10.47 now. And it's really warm. It is warm. <laughs> uh, we're heading to a couple, his a few historical sites, namely the Bahia Palace. El Badi Palace and the Sardian tombs and yeah we'll take you with us so come along yeah check it out guys we're in Marrakesh We arrived here at Bahia Palace. We purchased two tickets at 70 dirham each, which is roughly about seven pounds. So depending on the conversion, but we are here. Let's go in. The Bahia Palace, meaning brilliance in Arabic, is one of Marrakesh's top sites. This palace actually holds 150 rooms. really quite busy so if you want this place a little bit to yourself you might do well coming a little bit earlier where it's about 11 p.m. at the moment it's not a little bit later and yeah really busy beautiful though How are you finding it all? It's such a beautiful place. It's so hot as well. Um, but there are like a million people here right now. Um, it's really busy. So if you are coming, I advise that you probably try and get in as um, early as possible. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's amazing the actual work, the yeah. carving. The fine details. Yeah, 100%. The fine detail of it all. It's the just... tile situation everywhere. Colours right now are doing a lot. Yeah. The weather is so good as well. And because it's like in and out, so one minute you're in a room and then you're outside. It's just lovely different kind of areas and stuff. The poly juice, so much love book alarm going off. Ah. So this place was created in the 19th century and it was done so by a minister to commemorate the name of his wife by the same name as this palace, Bahai. 
Mahai? I hope I pronounced that correctly. Bahia. 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 That sounds very Brazilian, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Commemorate the name of his wife. Bahia. 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 We spent little over an hour leisurely wandering about this magnificent palace before we moved on. Alright, we just came out of Bahai Palace and it was beautiful. Definitely worth our time. But there's been a slight change of plan. We spoke to a local and he didn't speak so favourfully of El Badi Palace. So we're going to give that a miss and instead we're going to check out the Mela. The Mela is the Jewish quarter where they have lots of spices apparently so we're gonna check that out and that's where we're off to now so we'll see you there wow look at that yeah he's really skillfully making some chess pieces here Amazing the way he's crafting these chess pieces using his feet and hands. That's amazing. What's this? Sandal, sandalwood. Sandalwood. Basically, this is what we came to see. This one is alam uh, after shave and deodorant. Oh, okay. This is ginseng. Hibiscus with ginseng. This is jasmine. You know what is this? This is lipstick. <laughs> Natural lipstick. The scrap. The feet. Scrap. Pumas. Oh. This is lemon. Lemon grass. Mmm. That smells delicious. That's curry with lemon. Curry with lemon. He then took us inside to show us all the spices and all the other lovely bits they had. No, oh, wow. This is shamula for fish. Oh, smells delicious. This is ginger, hot paprika, cinnamon, cumin, and this is turmeric. This is saffron. Oh, wow. In your country is very expensive. In Morocco is only 20 dirham. These are bars of perfume. Vanilla is more. Oh, that one. Oh. This is berber hospitality. Shukran. Shukran. The mixture from the berber tea. Ah, shukran. Cheers. Cheers. Such a lovely hospitality. Is the same? Ah, that's the same of the two. Mm. No sugar, no meat. Sugar here is stevia, natural sugar. Ah, natural sugar, stevia, no sugar. No needed. <laughs> no needed. No, no needed. Here he puts in a tiny bit of crystal menthol into our berber tea. It's like a Vicks. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Do we drink? It's really great. Yeah, but do you have to just a dog breathe into it? Yeah, it can, yeah. yeah. Close your eyes when you... Do not look yeah. into it. Yeah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah. And breathe in while you're... Yeah, and breathe in while you're... Wow, that's incredible. It's really nice. It is. Yeah. But close your eyes when you drink it. Shukran. It's clearing up my whole sinuses. I don't need to drink it, I just need to smell it. And yeah. it's the tiniest, tiniest little bit. That's amazing. This is really clearing the sinuses. I didn't know I needed this. It's so powerful. That's the name of the city, the city beach. This is amber. Fish. This is lovely. This is nice. What? Every time I go for a zip, zip, a zip, zip, and every time I go for a zip, the the mentally vixiness yeah. goes into my eyes. <laughs> I'm not even putting it anywhere near to my eyes. <laughs> Would you be happy if I smell like that every day? Yeah. Which one's this one? Huh? Which one's this one? This is vanilla. This? Vanilla. Vanilla. Orange. 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 I prefer the vanilla. Yeah, that's nice though. This one is... Jasmine. 
I don't know. That's like if you price everyone. Mm. I like that smell though. This is Coco Chanel number five. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's good for stomach and for tail. Okay. And after our first shopping experience, we came across a few more shops which we wandered into, all selling similar stuff. Ah, I see. Yes. And this? What's that? This is called mascara. That's very mammal. Yes. All right. So we're just walking through the Mela. It's quite the experience for your senses. So many wonderful herbs, spices, ingredients, like shampoos, aftershaves, and we even got this little gift for free. Guess what it is, guys? Anyone guess what these are? Comment below. Comment below. Let us know if you know what this is. Or wait two seconds and we'll tell you the answer. Is this one? Toothpicks. <laughs> oh, really? This is fennel. Fennel. Yes, these are toothpicks. Natural toothpicks. Excuse me, you drop something. You're smiling. <laughs> One zero. Where from? London. 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 And just like that, we're sucked into another shop. Be warned, you will get stopped everywhere by everyone. Selling you pretty much the same stuff. It's all fascinating, so we've stopped multiple times and been described the same things over and over because it's very interesting to see and feel and experience, so go for it. Uh, I think that way. It's just so... Uh, All right, we've just come out of the Jewish quarter and we left you. And we've stumbled upon this lovely little square right now where there's not much shade, so we're just burning without any protection. Uh, I like it. And yeah, next stop, Sardian Tombs. That way. That way. Marrakesh, also known as the Red City, is often said to be Morocco's cultural heart and the great archaeological discovery of the marvellous burial ground, which is the Sardian tombs, definitely contributes to that title. This is the only remaining vestige of the Sardian dynasty, hidden away from sight in the beginning of the 18th century and rediscovered in 1917. We experienced the splendour of these grounds and those times straight away in the first room of the larger of the two mausoleums here. There's also a small exhibition where historical photographs of the museum are on display. The main spectacle and the most magnificent room in the large museum was last stop. Right, we 
just finished the Sardian tombs. Very impressive site, beautifully preserved tomb site. Definitely a must go um, if you're here in my. Uh, I think so too. Yeah, we do recommend quite highly. It's, it was it was beautiful to see. But we're going to end the video here. Uh, but in the meanwhile, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Do like and do share. Spread the love. And yeah, we'll see yeah. you soon. Peace.